Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are live with Duel Links Team Wars Season 10, week number 8. I am joined by the uh, reigning MCS champion, Nyx. What's going Hola. on? So we got uh, Kazuki Reborn versus Rookies today. Are you excited for this one? Hell yeah, I didn't know about it until just now. Amazing. But, hey, let's go. I think there's, uh, there's one more match tonight uh, at 11 p.m. as well. Yes, late night. Which game is that? Oh, I yeah. just read it, man. My my short term memory is awful. Give me one I'm, second. I'm, let me check it's, right it's a, now. It's a good one too. It's a uh, Switcheroo versus uh, Duel Links Latam. Okay. Yeah. Two more matches tonight, Mystic. You're crazy, bro. What? There's, there's no way. Yeah, we have uh, rookies, and then there's there's one. Int Sun versus Forbidden Memories. Okay, okay. And then there's Genkai Code and X-Factors, but that's tomorrow morning. Okay. Damn. Yeah, we stacked, boys. That's right, Beastie. La Tom. Do you pronounce <laughs> it Latin America or Latin America? That's right. Hey. La Tom. So we got uh, our starters will be Josie's and Naducci. And Man. Uh, well, let's cover the rosters, uh, the the, uh, the records here. So both teams are coming in with a 4-3 records. Four wins, three losses apiece, but a plus six round differential from Kazuki and a plus two from the rookies. That's really, they're like mirroring each other, kind of, almost. Yeah, I mean, these are, these are teams with uh, very, very uh, powerful records, positive records. But uh, they come from very competitive divisions. I mean, rookies is a uh, a champion team, right? They they've got a ring. Do they? I think so. Can't remember. Isn't it like season four or something? Let me check, man. Uh, I feel like they've won, but I can't remember, man. To be honest. And uh, Kazuki has been on a four win streak, as Breasty Mario in the chat has uh, so eloquently put. Yeah, if chat can just tell me, like, who the ref, if the ref might know. I don't, I have no idea. Honestly, we need some, like, Duel Links historians, like, Team Wars historians, yes. to just, like, have all this information for every team on hand. Oh, no, do we just have a shadow game? Okay, no, oh, Naducci's back on the table. I was about to freak out, dude. Nope, they're both off now. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, okay, no, no, no. Rookies has came second before they've never won. Oh, That's okay. True. Rookies did win. Bresti says rookies did win. Bro, I'm checking the Hall of Champions right now. It oh, was Defusion, I mean... then Switcheroo, Defusion, then Destiny Draw was week was season six. Season five was BNP. Season four was Smogon. Season three was Sun Clan. Season two was Murder Inc. Season one was creeping death beastie. Please tell me where rookies okay, is. So they, we, I might have been, um, they're runners up with Smogon, I believe. Yes, yes, that's correct. And I remember Smogon winning actually because I, uh, I ended up losing to Smogon and it crushed me because we were we were top four. Yeah. Man, I I don't know what top four feels like. I always go out top eight. Hajime. <laughs> Didn't you win an MCS? What the. No, I'm talking about in team ones. We always go out top eight. Not this season. I mean, this season, you guys are having the seasons of your lives. Yeah, wait until playoffs, boy. Ah, uh, come on. I, I just heard you guys made a, an insane roster pickup. Yeah, man, Vic Lee. He, he just traded that 0-8 for an 8-0. My man went plus 18 in one day. Crazy. That's 16, but hey. We're not yeah, here to do math. We're here to do Yu-Gi-Oh's. Wait, no, he tr he went up 16 points is what I meant. Yeah. That means, yeah. So we got Gaia versus Set One Pass Blue Eyes by the, uh, the look of things here. It's Bluetooth Kaibo with literally alternative White Dragon sleeves. <laughs> yeah, he's just projecting his inner Kaibo at this point. I can respect that. I had to upgrade the, the PC, so guys in the stream, let me know how the quality is. Is it higher? Does it look like it's, you know, four frames per second anymore? It looks good to me, but... I can't even watch in 1080p. It's, it's over, by the way. This, this game's over. <laughs> I just got in it, bro. I just got in it. Because I, I had to enter the duel, so I was farming. 
Uh, oh I know. My gosh. Looks I know. Like scuffed, I know. scuffed co-caster. To be fair, Heinz was just gonna stream alone, but then I, I was like, that's lonely. I was like, I can join you. Talk some, talk some trash. Uh, wow. Beastie oh. says if he if you go off round differential, Victor went plus one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my God. That's that's. So hey. Kazuki securing an early lead there. Yeah, they just guy just went full combo. Blue eyes needs back row to do anything. My man just set stone and passed and prayed. But uh, good, good choice there too to uh, go in with the dark flare dragon and the the yeah. sky galloping Gaia. Switch that stone right to attack position. I feel like a lot of players can just overlook that. Ladder players, of course, not yeah, not, yeah, not the good like, ones we're watching now. It was six hundred attack. Was, I would have had to like Google stones attack to be sure. <laughs> Instead of that, I'd be like, how much in voice chat, like, hold on, hold on, I don't know how big it is. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but it's actually it's really just... nice. I mean, yeah. If it was anywhere but... under a thousand, you have game, right? Because you just need to deal sixteen hundred yeah. damage with uh, yeah. the sky galloping Gaia. Yeah, and usually I'm good with math, but sometimes I can't do math. I'd be a hundred off, and I'm like, ah, go oopsie. I I've been playing um, less Duel Links right now and more uh, Legacy of the Duelist in preparation of uh, Master Duel coming this winter. So uh, um, the having to add up to eight thousand. Oh my gosh! Yeah, four thousand is really easy to do. It's like, oh, okay, twenty-four and sixteen stuff like that. It's like, oh, I can do that. Eight thousand? Don't ask me. I have no idea. I, I literally had a board today that had uh, a sixteen hundred attacker and uh, a twenty-four hundred attacker. I think it was like Hyper Librarian plus Gazuki or something or Mezuki. Yeah. Which one's sixteen hundred? Mezuki. Mezuki. I think they're both sixteen hundred. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait. No, I think something had sixteen hundred anyway. Oh, it was a uh, vampire sucker, and uh, vampire and what? Vampire sucker. With, That's uh, an actual card. Yeah, not, and, and it looks exactly at like you would expect. And hyper librarian. So I was like, hey, that's that's half. I know that. <laughs> I play Duel Links. <laughs> like I, I knew. <laughs> that's an actual. They Dude, really. They know look at look at the artwork on vampire sucker. It, it they looks... know what they're doing with these cards. I swear to God, they know what they're doing. Really, it, it makes it's it a makes, lolly like vamp vamp look like a classy lady, bro. What does she have in her head? <laughs> okay, this artwork's insane. Okay, yeah, that's that's why Shouts plays vamps. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, okay, Vampire Sucker has sixteen hundred attack. Yeah, but... yeah, that was the card, and I was like, that's that's four thousand right there. So that made my math a lot easier because I already had half taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> so if I can kill somebody in Duel Links twice with a board, then I know I can kill them in the TCG. This man really just went hunting ground into hunting ground. Amazing. But he had to he had to place a prismatic hunting ground. <laughs> What's that? Why did he go hunting ground into hunting ground versus Gaia? Am I missing something? May I guess he, he does want to keep the hunting ground around so he can pop stuff like the field spell, then he can activate stuff in the battle phase. What I'm saying is, why did he activate it, Heinz? Oh, I know. It's just gonna get popped, and then he's gonna have two hunting rounds in the grave. Yeah, but I mean, like, what if what if he what if he 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 doesn't? I I don't know. See, bro. there's the swallow's nest. He had to activate the galloping Gaia. Gone. Oh, now See, this, he's okay. big brain. He Head read his plays. hand. And head plays my. You board, didn't know that board. Naduchi had a Millennium Eye, did you? This man was like. I'm gonna pop Galloping Gaia before he does anything. I mean, does he? He still gets the search though, because it resolves in a different order. No. No, because oh. he activated it from hand. Like I said, this is a Millennium Eye play. This man said he hard open. This is not played Bruh. by the skill. Bruh, are you kidding me? He hard open. That's the only way that play made any sense. It was a swift prediction, dude. He looks like a genius right now, by the way. He's just like, ha, 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 ha. Now, keep this in mind, too. He played that before he activated this Arch Phoenix entry. He could have stopped that from happening. I don't know, bro. He's he could have an MST on purple legs, and he's like, nah. Taking this out that man, book, bro. No reading for you. I would be shook right now if I was Josie. I'm like, this man. Oh, but he's got two field spells. The plot thickens. 
Yeah, a lot of people run two nowadays. Cause like it makes sense. Um, I mean, the skill is less consistent. So it, it's also because you kind of need it to beat Melodius. Without that, you kind of like it's like yeah, Bloom can kill me. Your stuff. Yeah, you can just sit on guy until you draw a Chalice versus Melodius. But yeah, it just stops score completely and stops everything else. So you just sit on guy and pray. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't want you don't want Bloom soloing you, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, Bloom just killing all your fusions. You just go, ah. But I, yesterday, I finally realized Bloom can't kill anything with equal the equal attack. Yeah, I was today you were one old. of the first people to play that, so I'm I'm surprised you didn't know that because you can't kill I, a special summon Sangen. <laughs> I, you know, I just didn't read it. That it didn't click until I was like playing super he heavies, trying to level up Declan. Yes, I was playing super heavies to level up Declan, and I just summoned a uh, Benkai or whatever his name is. He has yeah. a thousand defense uh, attack. The the Bloom player just swung in and paused for like thirty seconds, and I both I paused too for thirty seconds because neither of us knew why Benkai <laughs> didn't die. Like, Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so I just I just read it. I'm like, oh yeah, super super heavy gonna be uh, the, the, the counter pick. No, I mean not really because they just die to uh, Sperda. That's the problem. Bloom isn't the problem. It's it's Sperda. You just banish it. But this match is it's taking a while. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I mean the Sky player is thinking a lot to go, you know, plus four. Yeah, he's just like. What is his back row? It's not Tretch. It's not. Book. If there was Tretch, it would have been gone already. Yeah. Uh, I, I assume. If it was a second Swallows, I just. No, he couldn't use it in response because the skill. He can't respond to skills. Yeah. They also died at Roach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Super Heavies literally can't out. Technically, the out to Roach would literally be this snake one. You go with the uh, what's the name of the guy that tributes to special summon from? Yeah, hey, you go to Soul Soul Piercer, and then you just special summon the well, you could Trumpeter. That's the special yeah. summon from hand guy, the flutist. Yeah, that's the one you're talking about. And then no, like no, you just you, you just summon the guy from the deck though. Wouldn't that no, be no, the you, way to get with the Roach, like with the Piercer? Yeah, yeah. You'd have to go for Benkai from deck or and to, yeah. to out. That's the only way. With but yeah, Roach like right to the mouth. Plus, 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 uh, super heavy stuck anyway. And like, Roach wasn't browsing. Super heavy, like, they don't <laughs> care about score or bloom, right? No, so, they like, don't. They just attack directly. They just go, okay, I'm just attacking directly three times. Because it's funny. Play, I used to play Musashi in uh, Christrons. Uh, yes. Even though Wayne used to make fun of me. Um, <laughs> but Musashi you could lance goaded, it. Bro. You could lance the, the yes. thing and then just swing for 23. It was big. Like, it was a big yeah, deal. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I mean, Neg Wagon's a one-card anything, Neg. Yeah. Wagon's busted. Yeah, you could go for a uh, level four, go equip Wagon, yeah. And that skill that makes them all tuners, like every one of them is a tuner? Insane. I thought that was... Man. I will say, Konami is up there anime skill level. Most of them suck, but I appreciate how they work. Specifically the Clock Tower one. The new Clock Tower one, they clearly have different people designing the skills and the ones adding the cards. Because the whoever designed that Clock Tower skill, bravo. Whoever designed this box, they should feel the shame of their damn selves. I will say that. Oh, this game is basically over. Yeah, bro, he just went hysteric party into <laughs> death. So nice soul charge, nerd. <laughs> I mean, he probably has the big guy from hand, right? I mean, it doesn't even matter. Harvey's had zero, really cards. zero cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's the soldier guy. I do believe he searched that. Yeah, he did. That's why I said it was game. Or, or like he he showed it earlier or something like that. Yeah, I saw it at one point. I can't remember if he searched it, but yeah, that get, this game was over the moment he had the second field spell. So nice the moment. So swift 2-0 lead to uh, start things off for Kazuki Reborn. Naduchi, unfortunately, going to uh, get knocked out here early. But uh, back strong next week. Chin up, Naduchi. Support yeah. that team. Always, always feels bad starting out 0-2. Grab, grab like, your pom-poms and your mini skirt and start cheerleading, bruh. 
It's just like, oof. Couldn't even get a single win. But sometimes it'd be like that, bro. Sometimes it'd be like that. Not so me, reborn. I, I always win. When was the last time you've played Team Wars, honey? Oh boy, at least at least a year and a half since I've played. Oof. Um. Jeez. And. Uh, <laughs> what was meta at that time? <laughs> oh boy, uh, Dark okay. Magician, Shiranui. Oh. It was uh, that Thunder meta. Dragons was still pretty good. It's crazy um, those decks lasted that long. That one box, the 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 uh, yeah, the Lunar Light all and the, then Dark Magician, all one. the Element Saber stuff. Yeah, that that like three month period from September until January twenty twenty, well, to twenty nineteen, they and were just one of the days when when box releases mattered. Yeah, we think about this. We had Dark Lords one box, Sabers next box. I can't remember. Ritual Beast came in some point. Then Shiranui immediately right after. Then we got Purg and all hell broke loose. Well, Purg came with Shiranui. I can't remember. But yeah, whatever. Then we got Dark Magician and Lunar Lights and all that stuff. And then the game just stopped being power crept for like a year and a half. Yeah, and those I things. Mean, Harpies was like the next relevant thing, right? And then Automats after like four boxes of support. <laughs> and no, everything else getting nerfed too. It's Mainly what made that, all that honestly. Good. I think, I think Automat would have a hard time against like full power Dark Magician even. Oh yeah, Black. Thank you, Nick. Blackwing. Blackwing came out the same time as Purgatrio because that was in the same box. Ooh. That's crazy. That was crazy. Meanwhile, all these boxes since then have been kind of eh. Well, D and D go. Is, is tier zero. Oh yeah, totally, bro. Totally, bro. <laughs> so, uh, excluding the the new release of uh, DDD. Which I've I've yet to read that archetype fully. DDD's problem is they don't do anything, aside from uh, sit on Stromberg. I saw, because yeah, that's the best one I saw, and the other one was like make rank sixes. You have cool. to give up four extra deck spots to make a Rhino, bro. I saw that. I saw uh, what was his name Zeta make that. I was like, wow, you just went neg four to make a single Rhino. Nice, because they make like two of the level six from the extra deck, or you, something. You know, like the, you know what the best deck to make a rhino is? What is it? It's fish exits. Fish, I, with, what? With the, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, one card rank four, and then you oh, use you the me? overlay regeneration. Put a What's spell with from your everyone hand. Everyone in overlay region nowadays. Bro, Stromberg so playing that. Everyone playing that. It's so good. Well, it's every best. meme player. Every meme person is like. Bro, you need to try overlay regeneration to make Rhino, bro. I swear to God, it's good. I swear to God, it's yeah, good. Yeah, Neg, it's, it's a two-card Rhino, exactly. And it's like I mean, you have five, it is. you have five buzz saws in your deck. And you were, I saw, weren't you? Wasn't your veil running legit like three into the voids? It was. Like that? I was playing five buzz saw, three into the void, and so that way I can put the into the void on the spider, well, on the corbage, and then climb. We got the memes, guys. Okay, but the... Uh, Fu-chan? No. Uh, that... F.U. Kuchan. God. Fu-kuchan. I, I was trying not to curse. F.U. Kuchan. <laughs> F.U. <laughs> Kuchan. <laughs> not really. You seem you seem really nice. They send in Harpies. Okay. Let's go. And Harpies going second. That's what Harpies kind of want to do. And the guy, they don't want to go first. These Team Wars players are such meta slaves, eh? I swear. If it was me, bro, I would have sent in Luna. I don't know what this is. Ugh. Remember my uh, my Gemini fish deck? I passed that to Luke, and he's yet to play it. That Gemini fish deck is fun. It That's sucks. What I'm with... saying. It sucks. It sucks. It's, it's Gemini fish. <laughs> you open Gemini Spark and like not the Gemini, and you cry. What Just do you like mean? you have nine of them. <laughs> like, what are you not opening? Smart? My hands will legit uh double what's his face? I I, silent anglers. Oh, double God. silent anglers and just like dead. I'm like no, no, no. I need buzz so I legit fox dead. Roach pass. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile chat's like what are the he what are these meme decks these two two guys talking about? It's just Yeah. So a guy with a set one popped the hunting ground and says, It's your turn, Kuchan. 
Uh, that's once back row. It all depends if Harpy opens Swallow. Isn't that how it always is, though? If Harpy's open Swallow's nest. I mean, it's a three of. You, you expect to see it. Yeah. It's like, what, 50-50 that... to see it or not see it? I remember when Harpies didn't run it in the beginning, and I was like, they were running Lance, and I'm like, why aren't they running Swallow's Nest? And then some guy won with it, and then everyone started running three Swallows. Yeah, I could never understand that. It's a mask change that pluses. I... Yes. And it's not a once per turn, it's just like... Yeah, it's nuts. I made a, I made a deck with that once. It was, um, it was using Sacred Train to draw cards. This man with these cards. I, I also thought that to who could know. even play that either. <laughs> was, I need I to explain what Sacred Crane does. When Sacred Crane is special summoned, it draws one card. Yeah, and it's not once per turn either. So, it, like, it's... you hit a Zephros? Oh, my. This man and his memes, I swear you, to God. You play, you play it with, like, uh, Goblin Bird. Draw a card. Red <laughs> Resonator. Yeah, you, you guessed it. Draw a card. <laughs> That's such a bad call. <laughs> I mean, it, I would it sounds like a, a one, well, two card synchro and a draw to me. I don't know. Swallow says, Swallow says, Did, does he have it? Does he have it? Show me the nest. Can you? If he swallow? doesn't have it, I don't think he has it. Nope. No. no. Yeah. And that's pretty much Harpy's going second for you guys. If they don't have Swallows, that's they just end that turn. GG. Okay. I am very surprised they did not send in Lunar Lights. I know everyone's like, Nyx loves Lunar Lights. Yes, I love Lunar Lights, okay? But, like, Gaia can't beat Lunar Lights unless Lunar Lights summons uh, Emerald. Not Emerald. Uh, revives something in defense or something. But, like, yeah, they can't outsave an answer at all. We did Without just see he reveal the, uh, the Soul Deer Gaia once again. Yeah, this is pretty much game, bro. Well, he can have drowning. Oh, Here comes the eccentric. eccentric. Not drowning. I'm a tretch. But yeah, eccentric. Hop tretch. Come on. Come on. Come on. So apparently, eccentric's a light monster. So I thought that was gonna be good with one of those DDD cards. Turns out it sucks. Why would it be good? Because it's light. One of them adds from the face-up extra deck to your hand. So I thought it was gonna be like, oh, cool, you get like an MST, but it's not. It's just trash. And he books himself so that he can flip it up, and it's at twenty six hundred. Well, I mean, if he if he just pops, it's game, right? Yeah, he just goes oh, to battle. He's, okay, he's, he's just being he's being first. I, I probably would have. I mean, first. it was game regardless, to be honest, because the back row is gonna be used. Yeah, but if you pop it uh, and then just soldier guy summon dark flare, then you don't have to walk into the interruption in the main phase. I, I agree with you. Well, you should. 100%. I'm right. <laughs> because this could be a treach right now. Yeah, then then you're boned. Yeah, he 100% won if he just popped it. Mind you, he hasn't normal summon, so he could just make another fusion too. Um. Yeah. Oh no, he can't because he special summoned the dark players. So he lost his curse of dragon fire. Oh my god, it's okay. Guy is still gonna win. They unga bunga and still win, bro. That's how it always is. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we know playing Duel Links that you're never punished. Never no, yeah, totally. you never punished. See, Bresty says it best. <laughs> never punished, though. <laughs> uh, let's... Pro what is... Who is this delay on? I assume it it's on the Harpy player. player. Yo, Nug with the subscription. He says, shoot, oh, forgot to cancel. Shoot, party. forgot to cancel. It doesn't matter. Just pop the third party, yeah. Monster. So it didn't matter. It would have mattered if it was a treach. I guess he would have had a read on that when he flipped up. He knows it's changeable with one monster on board. Fair enough. Imagine Kariba one time. Kariba one time. Nope. But like, I don't understand why he did that, right? Because he could have just tributed, I mean, popped it and tributed and then made it and then still had pop next turn i don't know yeah and it would have been guaranteed lethal you know yeah because like if he had sphere karibo he lived right there i mean i mean, i don't think i've ever seen a sphere in harpies but like maybe it's a good idea you know i mean it's a terrible idea but hey 
Okay, I'm Radlop, I was wondering if it was wrong because I was looking at it going, something's off. So I'll have to fix that for next week, but thank you. Oh, yeah, your font's off. I just noticed that. I thought it was weird, too. I was like, hmm. Are you using thin. Arial font? I don't know. It's like default. Yeah, I just got yeah, a new PC, Arial. so like everything's Arial. all unrefined. Arial or Com Cam 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 hey, maybe spend less time on a computer if you can remember fonts' names by looking at them. Hmm? I have a degree in computers. <laughs> what do you want from me? I know font sizes and font types. That's either. either okay, so, I, okay, so I, you can explain this to me. What's the difference between typeface and font? Typeface? I've never heard of that in my life. Okay. Typeface? I'm Googling that. Because there's a difference, apparently. Like, font is like, I think it's like the size, and then typeface is actually the difference. Like, like the different names are called typefaces. Real ones use Comic Sans. Hold up. Let me. Can I switch it for everything? Oh, select font. Oh, I can do it for everything. It's I called Bantry. That's what I'm on. What am I supposed to be on? That, that. Bro, I can't Damn, tell you the difference. Bust. Done deal. I draw. Nothing changed. Wait, that's what it is on. I don't know. Oh! Okay. Okay. Typeface is like the types. I can't change midstream. Thanks, Taha. Okay. Nice. I can break it down right now. Yes, font. Please. Font is like the actual thing that you're typing, right? Spell. Typeface is the various versions of that. So, like, let's just say you're typing in Arial. You can have Arial Bold, Arial Black. It's like different versions of Arial. It's not like you're changing font. It's just you're changing how it works. Oh, okay. That's what it seems. Yeah. Fuck it. Why am I googling? <laughs> hey man, it's it's Gaia versus Harpies for like the fourteenth time. All right, so we and do have a repeat, by the way, from rookies. This matchup is like so boring because it it only comes down to one thing: does go. Gaia go first? Does Harpy it. have Swallow's Nest? If they go second, that's all that matters. That's literally all that matters. If Harpies go first, they bounce this fusion. It's like oh, GG. Yeah. Can he swallow no, the field spell? But he can't Tretch! I reveal my face down card. He really had Tretch. He really had Tretch, bro. Never punished, my boys. Wait, why is it three? Oh, yeah, because guy won. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. In an alternative universe, I saw Gaia win, bro. I saw Gaia win. So Teha, how is the uh, the stream looking anyway, my friend? Aside from the uh, the old font slash typeface issues that we're having, it's just font issues. It's not typeface. I can have them at the wrong size. We don't know. Maybe they're inappropriately bolded. Oh my god. But yeah, the way I understand it is typeface. Like if you literally go in like Word, you'll see different versions of it. Like I'm looking right now because I'm okay. adding type of paper. It's like Arial, then Arial Black, Arial Narrow, all whoa, whoa, whoa. those Arial what? Narrow? Yeah, that's what I thought. What? I said <laughs> Narrow, bro. It was Black? What the? Whoa! You can't just say that. <laughs> bro, that's not the name. Yo, Heinz, I just noticed it. Taha pointed it out. Why is uh what is font like <laughs> He said I couldn't change it, so I changed one. Now it's uh now it's the one that's uh Neg says. This man why does rookies look like it's in Times New Roman and all the other ones? No, no, it's, it's in bro. it's in Gary 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 bondage. I don't know what that is, I only know the two popular ones, bro. It's Ariel and Times New Roman. Gar Garamond, that's what it is. Jesus. <laughs> it's Ariel twelve, thank you very much. This man knows. You've been typing some papers in chat. Times New Roman 12, double space. Gaiba's uh, waifu is a, a girl named Ariel. He's 12. Hey. He can't be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd laugh. <laughs> Gar I've never heard of Garaman. Let me look it up right now. To, to, to be fair, I never go past Ariel because I just like Ariel when I'm typing.
I never thought I'd be nice. in a stream talking about font sizes. Thanks, And honey. typeface. Typeface. And you got a typeface that I'd like to yeah? press my face into. And did you see my picture for the Invitational tomorrow? That I sent you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? It's a, the, Konami drew, like, every participant got a cartoon version of themselves. They were asked for, like, a photo. And that's so, you what know. that's your cartoon? You can do this. Yeah, that's my cartoon. My Zane? Your complexion Zane? seems off. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, I'm white as hell in that <laughs> yeah. You look washed out. Yeah, I've been, bro, I've been in Pennsylvania for three months now. My tan is gone. I'm looking so white. I will say, Zay King's picture, he's looking like a snack. I will say that. Zay is a, a handsome man. Yep. Everyone was like, he looks like a Chad. I'm like, because Zay is a Chad. Did you just win the world championships and not become a Chad? I'm just... Oh, yeah, he did win last year, huh? He did. Hunting ground activates. Just casually has the set. No, he added it back. I'm trolling. Yeah, and, and, you know, he uh, he sold that blue eyes that he won, I think. And uh, I never got a cut, even though I taught him everything he knows. It's crazy. But yeah. Hines, the best coach. He'll tell you everything not to do. I do I do, do that. That's true. He's a chalice. Um, I don't think Harpies is winning this. Safe to say. <laughs> it, it is definitely looking rough. Oh, but he's got the Swallow. nest. I mean, he needs Straight a second swallow. Straight into a, a Gaia pop, but hey. Yeah, he's he got needs it. a second swallow. to have a chance here. And it's funny, like, he also has to pop his own field spell here, so this is, like, really negative. He, I mean, he was going negative regardless. But yeah, Greg's also in the tournament tomorrow, too. PDS. So anyone in the chat, there's, like, a whole bunch of top plays in this Konami event tomorrow. And Greg. Yeah, Greg too. Yeah, Greg <laughs> later. Greg won the event the, the uh event before this to get into it. So did Zay. There was like they had two for NA I think. And like top four got in. And I got lucky because I think two in the top four were ineligible and they got DQ'd, so I got this spot. Yay. Damn. <laughs> PDS face reveal? I end my turn. My uh, yeah, I've never seen PDS in his face either. It's kind of crazy. What time is this happening tomorrow? It's happening 12 p.m. EST to tomorrow. To I think so. Yes. Of course, of course it'll work. I yeah, you could just turn on Twitch, bro. I probably will have to. <laughs> but I will say, this is it's a well-done organized tournament from Konami. People usually give Konami a lot of crap for a day. Well, this game is pretty much over, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's looking a lot like uh, a previous game, and uh, that is guaranteed lethal on board. Hey, there's 16 plus 24. That equals 4,000. Yeah, basically. Actually, 46 equals 6,600, but that's not important here. I am very surprised they don't have Lona in the lineup. Or maybe they do. And they don't believe it's a counter. Yeah, I guess they uh, they believed in harpies. Did work out for them this time. Uh, say the line, Nix. What's the line, bro? Well, do, oh, it... nice counter deck, bro. There you go. <laughs> it took me a minute. I was like, it's literally your catchphrase. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why nah. I have to tell you. Nah, I haven't said it in a while, bro. Because we, because I haven't been. I don't know. I've been more relaxed lately with the smack talk. <laughs> is oh, that yeah. the difference? Is that why Pharaohs is now undefeated? You're, you've attached your energy to playing the game instead of yeah. playing the chat? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Sean, I can't pronounce your name, Sean. But hey, Sun yeah, you got DQ. And I literally took his spot. I, I'm i playing instead of him tomorrow. Oh. Sajay. <laughs> well, you better it win on behalf of Sunry. Uh, I feel bad. I, I don't feel bad. I'm I'm very happy I got a spot. I will it's hard to feel in. bad, right? Like you're like, well, you know, it worked out well for me. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I feel bad it, for you, but at yeah, the same I, time, I, I, it was it was so weird because the the guy reached out to me. I'm like, bro, I got top four. I mean, top eight. Only top four gets in. And uh, he was like, 
He didn't tell me what happened, but I figured it out. But hey, we Yo, take those. They're in the we chat asking, where's the tier zero DDD? That's what I'm saying. These guys don't believe. The tier zero? Did he, tier did he miss? Zero DDD. Did he miss like a, a 20 before that zero? No, or... no, no, no. It's tier, tier 20 zero? Like it's, it's, it's so tier zero, it's 20 times tier zero. Like you're going into like... Um, oh geez, what's the? Oh, Times you, you can't even think of a good oh, joke. No, I lost it. it's the Dragon Ball Z thing. Kaioken. Oh, Damn. oh, before, oh <laughs> ten thousand? I don't know. I haven't watched Dragon Ball in a while. I need to rewatch. That was a good show. Even further beyond. Ah. Kaioken. <laughs> Kaioken times ten. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. Kyle Ken, yes. All right, so we got Midnight looking like he's coming in with TGs. Oh, shoot, let's go. Here I go. Got the spice. My turn. Oh, I'm, I'm not even on game layer. I'm that bad. Yeah, he's still preparing match, my guy. I'm in the game. I don't know who Midnight is either. Midnight, bro. I thought you said I thought you said Mid Nugget, bro. I got hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's Shinya. That's all I'm gonna say. Shinya is Midnight now. Or they sent in the wrong player. Alright, Vinny says Midnight is Shinya. Man, I'm nuts. Check me out. Oh, this man milled nothing. Charge and Kanadia. And the second charge. Yo, but that's our contract with the gate. He's got tier 0 DDDDD with TG. How does that work? I'm very curious. I'm I'm upset because he didn't get to do anything and he's probably gonna lose the guy right now. Breakthrough skill. This man. That's please, not good. Please have something to disrupt this. Please. I really want to see TG. I don't want to sit here and watch Guy win 10-0, bro. I don't want to watch this. Well, it might not actually be TG. It might be um like level tuning because he takes level damage or like life point damage rather. That's very true. Into uh, like Utopia Ray or something. I'm not sure. I don't know like all the DDD strats yet. He hasn't milled a single TG monster, so this very well could not could be not. I oh, can't speak English. Might not be TGs. Well, he did so. hit a dark contract with Gate, so we definitely know he's playing some form of DDD. DDD, DDD. He opens field spell. I mean, he runs two field spells, so that's expected. I mean, not expected, but it's more easy to happen than having one. Yeah, I think I think it's like a 30 to 40 percent chance to um, open two ofs going second, something yeah. like that. I think. Neg one will know. He he does a lot of math. Math? I remember. I remember when I first met the. Played with the Neg one. Jeez. A man had all the math. This is oh, a, a dangerous uh, position here. Dark he does math. Gate. Hard once per turn, facing a live pop from the guy of the Magical Knight of Dragons. Oh my god. I mean, he has the breakthrough, so. Oh, well, that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah. Guy is going to pop. He's going to break through in response. Alright, so he does successfully get a search off. And I mean, uh, that does that's... burn the guy a pop for the turn. It's a hard once per turn. Now he's got one back row he's got to face down. He searches out the Orthros. Oh, shoot. This is actually DDD. With, uh, with Light Sworn. So I guess you want to mill them. He's going to pop the back row. He's going to pop the back row by sending the Dark Contract, guys. Look at the combos. Look at the combos. It's I know this. nuts. This guy's broken. Imagine an MST right now, and he just cries. Oh, and but it's lights and darks. He can play Levianir. Yeah. Oh, bruh. I think it's level tuning is his skill. I think his skill's level tuning because they pay a lot of life points. They can get below two thousand very easily. Oh, but it's and another Orthros. This one's prismatic. Oh, this is not good though. Popping. He can special summon what? this one from the from the extra deck. He did a whole lot of nothing, bro. That man just did a whole lot of nothing. How many Oof. Ds can you handle, Joseph? <laughs> he does not have another breakthrough skill. He has a Kanadi engraved. 
and two charges and a raven. Yeah, next says at least we uh, learn the skill in the match report. That's true. But also when we win, when when triple D's win this, I feel like it's level 20 because that's the only skill that makes any sense. It, here. it does make a lot of sense. I mean, it's it's the skill that is probably most played outside of the TG skills with uh Antimony. What the hell? I don't know how to say his name, but yeah. Antimony. Yeah, I always confuse him with the uh, DSOD guy, which is a Agami. Jesus. Oh, it was neat. Yeah, true. I, I forgot he existed. Because <laughs> he has no relevant skills. Yeah, I, I forgot when, when Cubics were meta, so. They weren't. Oh, <laughs> I see. I didn't, I, see, I got a Duel Links historian with me. No, it's Cubics tried, were meta. They... Yeah, this guy's got the, that uh, Dark Flare Dragon on point all the time. The Excel Synchro that... guy, Alimony. <laughs> this is just game. Oof. Alright, so burn the second sad. repeat so we can see this again. I please I, I, I really want them to repeat. Like But how do they not have a guy account? That's what What? We have DDD. Oh Alimony. <laughs> that 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 yeah, that's funny. Yo Kenya's typing. Show me the repeat, baby. Show me Please. the repeat. I want him to god hand this guy is so, so badly. Just go like Raiden, Mill 20, Levy, go it's, burn. It's a repeat. And we are watching DDD once again, this time going second. Victory is impossible until you overcome your limitations. A duelist never turns down a duel. Duel. My turn. I'll give it my all. A field spell. I too hope that Chinya ends on minimum a negate in a hand rip. Absolutely. Imagine, just imagine. Appear. I summon a Joseph's looking like uh, quite the powerhouse though right now with Gaia five and zero. Oh. This man just doesn't brick. Like literally, he does not brick. My hands with Gaia would be effect. like. Field spell, field spell, book, and chalice. I heard That's they nerfed fear. this skill. It doesn't seem I like it. I mean, they kind of, they did. The, the, it, when it comes up, it's so bad. Because it's like, you have a guy, you're right. You don't have a field spell, and you don't have a dragon. Just like, oh. Let's go! He has the contract. I don't know what he's doing, but he has a contract. Don't pop it, bro. Don't pop it. I swear. I swear on God, don't pop it. Okay, he didn't pop it. Yeah, he's popping it. He well, see, guy. because it is a hard once per turn, you want to wait for them to try to activate it. Continue a spell. Make it fizzle. They can't activate it again for the rest of the turn. If you open two, the second one's dead. I know, man, but I wanted to I see him add something. Yeah. Miscellaneousaurus. Wait, is this actually what? I am what? So maybe he's just using it as back row hate. Oh, it's just he a can back row it. hate engine. That's actually insane. No, he runs six of the contract guy. No, he runs three contract and probably two of the uh, pop guy. So he just pop back row. But wouldn't that must just be better? I don't know. I there, don't. There, there must be some other combo with it. Like it's like if a, he could explain it to me, that would be very great. Because like, like an MST. Yeah. I don't know. Because the the Arthros aren't really particularly big either, right? They're like six hundred with eighteen hundred defense. Here it comes. So like, Man, I really want to know what this deck is. Maybe there's like rank four plays, or like because it's a level four, unlike eccentric, you can make. That's true. Make your your star guardian. Kind of sad because I think he's just gonna lose. I'm on, guys. Oh, it's a tuner as well. It's level four tuner that pops the contract, so it's a tuner right. as well. 
But I mean, okay, I understand it. I, it, it isn't that good, but it, yeah, it, it's just. I, I didn't know it was a tuner. I didn't know that either. I didn't even know there were pendulum tuners. I, I guess I should know that. Feels like there's, those, those are things. I'm very interested in these extra deck pendulum monsters because I have no idea how they would work. Because like they would, they could never be a scale. So like, why are they a pendulum? Uh, because when they die, they go back to the extra deck, and then you can special summon them again. Pendulum. Okay, yes. But my thing is right. How will they ever get the pendulum effect? Because there are cards that place them from like your graveyard and stuff, or like if they're face up in your extra deck, you can like play a card and then it'll like play a card face up here. You can like normal summon this and it'll like play it to your your pendulum zone, stuff like that. Uh, so so, so like, you have to go like late to game work around pendulums. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I'm just always thinking about it. And the future of Duel Links, I was like, how will this work? I'm actually curious, man. This guy, guy's playing, taking a while. Boy, so he must sucks. have uh, tried to go into battle phase here, and the Kanadia is being activated in response to flip down the guy, the Magical Knight of Dragons. Neg says he is no longer hyped for Shinya. Oof. I'm kind of with him on this. I mean, like, going for an MST engine that loses to MST? <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> it's just TGs, bro. That's sad. I activate my monster's effect. Gaia popped the other back row. Gaiba simping for PDS in the chat. I did not expect this game to be such a blowout that it is right now. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected that either. Rookies is a, a very consistent team. Like, rookies don't get me wrong. No, I, I can't get this right. This guy's doing really well, but I just did not expect him to like do this well with um Gaia. Gaia, yeah. This is the card I set. Okay, that's he's true. Gonna that's actually a really good point. Who doesn't sit for PDS? PDS does have a really smooth voice. Just mellow. Gaia, the magical knight of dragons, in attack position. Does he have Chalice? Things are happening. Stuff. It's going down. It's going down for real. What do I have song? Let's uh. You can do this. Oh, whoa, Attack. he's going in. It's like you said, gotta be the Forbidden Chalice. Doesn't he just win if he has the guy from hand? No, he has 2600 attack. Never mind. I think he has 26. He does. That is correct. I always think that he's Black Luster Soldier for some reason. I activate my One of them has 2,800 on my tripping. I, did, I don't know. I end my turn. Something has 2,800. I think all the BLS cards have 3,000. They're like the same as the Blue Eyes. Stat line wise. Why am I tripping? Dark Magician of Chaos has 2,800. That's probably why. I know it's a Yugi card that has 2,800, and I always. It just looks like him for some reason. Now he does have a survival end in the graveyard, live miscellaneous forest. Misc is such a fast. If he's got a screwy little serpent in his hand, he could do some some special things here. I activate a trap. And Madden sending TGs in the Gaia. Yeah, come on, rookies. At least put up a fight. In an ideal there's... world, there's a lot of interruptions to be had with TG. I can definitely see it having some success. Because, like, you can do a lot in the main phase before Gaia can make their plays. If you go first with a decent hand. Yeah, keyword. If you're... Oh, no. <laughs> setting, so... setting your monsters is not the path to victory. Spook, I don't believe he does. He's, he, it's, the game says he added it here, but we'll never get to see it. This Gaia play is just going to kill him right now. He's just going to add the big guy. Swing, swing. Yep. Yeah, this game just ends. Because he adds dark. Oh, no, he's banished. Wait, he's used Dragon Mirror. Okay. He does not have a light and dark in Grave, guys. He doesn't. So, there's no, no hope. No Chaos Sorcerer plays. There's hope. Choose I don't know what. Hope. Like, he's just going to die to a single pop next turn, but hey. Because I don't think he's running, like, 
Jalus usually mainly like Kanadia and Paleos, which take a turn to wait. Yeah, and, which uh, is... we do know he played breakthrough skill, but obviously there's no back row on the board right now, and it can't be used the turn it's sent to the graveyard. So even with like a charge, it's doing yeah. very much nothing. So that was the DD Orthros. Oof, that's not good. Okay, he revives. Okay, okay, okay. Just let, let it go through, guy. Just let it go through, I swear. Just, just let it happen, bro. Just let it happen. I mean, doesn't he just pop the synchro and just wins? I mean, you don't even have to wait for the synchro, really. I mean, if you want to somehow play around a random survival zone, you just do it. Because now Soldier Guy is is very much searchable, and Survival yeah. Zen needs a, uh, a a vanilla on the board, which he has none of. Oh, I was just saying he set he sets up. Though. I'm talking about Mor Mor Morella. So, yes. so he does manage to get to the Star Guardian. This will at least net him a card, but it's probably just gonna die, and he's committed to his normal summon already this turn. Yeah, you just pop Star Guardian here. Yeah. Yep. He knows it. He was, that's what he was thinking about. Yeah. yeah I mean, when, to... This is the, the, the main weakness to uh, extra deck mechanics. Oh, he had missed. He had missed, bro. Just a prank, bro. Just a prank. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, great. <laughs> just dies now. Wait. Two booster raptors. Sylvan Princess Sprite? No. <laughs> Uh, I think he's dead. I draw. Right? I it seems I very dead-like to me. Shows off the guy. He's actually adding another dragon here. Not showing off the curse of dragon fire. Gonna add the dark flare dragon. Yeah, this is just over. He's just gonna tribute the guy to big guy. Doesn't even chaos. Mean. That's why he's adding it. Smell. He's got the soldier Gaia. Like, he can kill him ten different ways. He's just being fancy at this point. Use your cards. Plus as much as you can, you know? Guy in the yep. Fierce Knight or Raijin. Oh, it's beautiful, really. Then he just tributes, summons it, blah, blah, blah. Go burr. Two fusions. Hawks, you're just, you're just not woke. So he burned a repeat for this, by the way. So that's no repeats left for rookies. TG not paying off. They don't have a single Luna Light. I've, I keep saying that, but that's just shocking. Maybe they don't believe in the furry... Uh... They don't believe it's a counter. Yeah, I know. Because, like, Gaia can go second and kill you, but, like, if you just set a single Wait, Luna... Wait, what? Why, did he not go for game? Am I... What? What? Am I lagging? Nah. What? I, I updated scores, and then it's not over yet. I mean, he does have I mean, another pop. I think he's just BMing him. This is just mean, bro. Is that a chalice? Like... What the hell? Okay, we gotta check this guy's PayPal. He was like, just let me win one, and I'll give you five bucks. That's what just happened. Miscellaneousaurus once again. Oh, bro. He's gonna be able to search a ritual spell next turn. Fan fun spawns and like gone. Yeah, I'm saying he had lethal. He has soldier guy. We saw him reveal that card. We know he has it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, P. I thought we were gonna see like a, a massive black rose into some crazy play. Nope. Nah, he he timed out, guys. He timed out. But uh, it was it was, he almost had him, right where he wanted. Yeah. All right, so that I was think, the... Um... I think it's surrendered. It doesn't tell us anymore. It doesn't tell us anymore. That kind of sucks. It really is too bad. I mean, for casting and everything, it... putting that back yeah. would be a major quality of life improvement for us to know whether something was a timeout, etc. Yeah. I don't know if that was, like, in an update, but, like, that, that kind of sucks. So now I can't even be like, oh, he scooped. We just assume he either timed out or scooped. I like the thank you time now, but I don't know. Thanks, Konami. Small indie company joke, by the way. Insert here. So, uh, Joseph's already done 60% of the work for Kazuki Reborn here. 
Um, rookies still two players in the back, Amayami and Kenya number one. They haven't lost a single deck yet, Heinz. Not yet, but it ain't over. Not a single deck. If one player can go 6-0, another player can go 6-0. I mean, they can, but, like, if you don't have a Gaia counter... But, I mean, they had, they had triple DTG. Gaia isn't even a good deck. I, oh, my God. Is it? Is it not tiered right now? It's not tiered, no. Not. I remember reading something about that. Like I said, I haven't been playing much Duel Links in the past, like, two weeks. So. It's re its tournament results has been very poor. That's why. It's still a pretty good best of one deck, I think. Yeah, it's best of one. If it opens the combo, it opens the combo, bro. So Kenya number one on the table now. And uh, let's get into the game, ladies and gentlemen. It's Harpies again. Oh, my God. Is, is Harpies like a secret tier zero that I was unaware of? Like, everybody's bringing a ton of them for some reason. I don't understand why people bring a lot of uh, Harpies. I'm talking to you, Neg1 in chat. I saw you with double Harpies this week. Yeah, but he plays Hysteric Party at three. So his is, like, yeah. way cooler than everybody else's. That's just a fun card, bro. Right? It, it's just Soul Charge. It's like, hey, you remember when balls. you killed all my monsters? They're back. And then you eat an MST. Oof. <laughs> he says he had to play the Luna Light as one deck, but that's not a real deck. So no. it basically, like a it kind of sucks though. Oh, and when it played lost the Harpies, I just played Mirrors. Oh my God, he lost the Harpies with Lunas. That's just a bad luck. I mean, I lost the Harpies literally an hour ago with Lunas. It happens. Remember that time you uh. You went like 8 0 versus uh, Harpies? Harpy when was that? Was that? Oh, like a tournament then, a couple yeah. weeks ago? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Was it 8 0? Yeah, it was like some in indie tournament. Yeah, bro. Top. It's just a small indie tournament. I was just opening broken. I'm not even going to lie. My hands were like Emerald, Martin, Fusion, Tanky, and Spirit Rebo. Every single time, going second. I mean, I, I was watching you in voice chat, and I do, I, I swear I talk about this every time. Uh, but I do remember you uh, having a lot of Trifortress Tops hands, where it was basically like, okay, uh, my hand is weird, but I have Trifortress Tops, he's not killing me. I remember yeah. you saying that, and then you would just, like, wait a turn, draw, like, tanky, and you're like, okay, I win. Yeah. <laughs> it's really All fun. Right, I win. Yeah. I'd rather play the brother. What are you talking about, Neg? The best X Luna Light. What are you talking about? Jeez. Super buddy in the chat asking Duel Links Team Wars, trying to get the mod's attention. Says, can we do some predictions, please? At 6 0. <laughs> 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 who, who you got your money on? What's the uh, the over under? No Swallow's Nest once again. Chandler goes much, down. That's literally how this matchup goes. And they play through the pop. And if they can't, they probably lose. I mean, Gaia, like Gaia, is, Gaia does have a zero attack Magical Knight right now. And yeah, he runs Chalice. He's top decking monsters. Chalice. Like, that's what he needs to do. They always top deck monsters, Heinz. They always top deck monsters. Come on. Well, straight into battle phase. But yeah, Nick, I feel you. I understand. No one is just, eh. You suspect just... a damage step Chalice here? Probably. I don't know what's the think thinking, like Damn negative one playing magnets? That's crazy. I didn't know that. I thought you said you didn't believe in magnets. Magnets is a fun dumb deck, I will say that. It's an amazing deck. It's the best deck. That's what he just said. He just said he'd rather play the best deck, so he'd rather play magnets. Oh. Then gamble with Luna Light. Bro, imagine last gamble Luna Light. I mean like last gamble Koakai Miro. That was so dumb. Last Gamble Buster. <laughs> Last Gamble anything. Three came to the mouth. This man took 10 years to activate that chalice, by the way. He's probably like setting his toggle to on, but he kept clicking all the way to off, so he had to keep going back. You ever do that? No. I don't toggle. <laughs> I literally don't use the toggle. What? Oh, yeah, you play Luna Light. Exactly. You play, you play Can I... They Out Saber Dancer? No, and I guess I don't need to toggle. <laughs> like, 
Oh, interesting. Guy didn't pop anything. Why didn't he pop the background? RP Chandler straight into a book of mine. Seriously, why didn't he try in the back? The guy pop. Am I dumb? Yeah, I'm not really sure why. It was it was literally a free plus one. Maybe he had toggled off because he was cycling. He toggled off. He 100% had his toggle off. That's what it was. Oh, maybe, no, wait. It was draw phase. He booked a draw phase. Oh, yeah, I'm that dumb. makes sense. That's that's way smarter. That's way smarter than... Yeah, it's just nice. Yeah. And... Yeah. <laughs> this is so sad. Because this harpy player keeps going second. And keeps losing. <laughs> My turn is over. Okay. Kawaki, yeah, Kawaki Meru Maddox was literally who goes second wins. Remember There's for no higher, though? Oh my god, for higher Maddox? That was, was that, nah, that wasn't the bad score guy. Was it, I don't know, man, they both were dumb. They were like right one after another. Yes. Uh, I think this game's over, bro. I'm just gonna say it right now. Because he wasted his book, he doesn't have a swallow's nest. He's at a thousand life points. Do you think the uh, the last set is another party now? Uh, I feel like it. This guy guy has literally went first every single time versus Harpies. Like no joke. And the Harpy players just haven't had the out to the Book of Moon and Gaia Pops. Chat goes, I'm bored, please. Win game, guys. Yeah, I feel you. Here's the Gaia Pop. Gonna pop the Chandler. This is the most fun match ever, Hans. Alright. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, he scooped. There it is. Alright, Joe's a 7 and 0 oh for Kazuki Reborn. This man's a god. I just have to say that. He's very good with Gaia. He prayed to his lord and savior, Gaia the Magical Dragon Knight. Did he really come? I wasn't paying attention please, to me. Please, my galloping god. Well, this match has been going by fast, obviously. Yeah, it sure has. I mean, it's only an hour deep and we're 7-0. and oh. Yeah. Uh, I think we can't do predictions, guys. Because we're like... Any predictions? 90% uh, uh... match. Yeah, I That's mean, why. they're literally 70% of the match has been won for Kazuki Reborn by one man. Most man, make it, 10 to, make it 10 to 1. So now they finally go into uh, Melodious, which has a... Uh... Wait, they had Melodious this whole time? Oh, but Are he's you... using the scuffed Super Poly mat. That's got the, the Supreme... Oh, Victor's gonna kill me. Okay. Wait a minute, they had this the whole time? Are you kidding me? They had the tier zero Melodious? They had Melodious, which beats Gaia. Well, if you, they you did mention rid... earlier he was playing two field spell to counter Melodious in a way. Okay, yes, okay, but still. So maybe they recognize that and they're like, you know, the... this might not be a winning matchup. We'll try other stuff first. I would Seven rather games risk... later, okay, snowballed. I'd rather risk my one Melodious in his, into him having two field spells then three Gaia's, not three guys, three Harpies or something, man. Oh my god. And Gaia goes first again for the hundredth time. With full combo and probably two sets. Watch. This man's gonna have two sets. This has been this whole match. Dude goes first, has full combo, two sets. And relevant sets, not even like, I mean. I guess guy doesn't have brick sets. Oh, he only set one. That's a brick. Nice. He bricked. He only I, set I was one. actually a little bit behind. You spoiled that for me. Oof. But uh, it's okay. I was listening to voice lines. Just letting it go off. <laughs> Alright, so all he needs is like a book and a, an MST and Ostinato. And then, if well, he has the solo, MST. he's fine. If he has solo, he's fine. I mean, first movement's all, yeah. Ostinato would also be good. Ostinato would probably win him the game. Oof. Starting with this is the problem. No. Now, this I, is the am problem. I incorrect here? I always like to just pop their normal summon. They, their yes, skill doesn't work without a monster yes. on board. I just yeet that thing. 
Yeah, you pop the normal summon immediately. Even if they have the first movement after, you'd rather pop the normal summon. Because you'd be like, if you have it, you have it, bro. If you have it, you have it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to like play around cards that they might have. Uh, I kind of disagree with him popping the back row, though. Oh, he had MST. He had double MST. Joke. Yeah, so it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't a big deal. He could have waited to yeah. MST the field spell. He waited to see more information from his hand. I like the play. Yeah. That only made sense if he had double MST, so he's fine. And it stops the Gaia from resetting at 3k, which well, is relevant. does have the eccentric. Okay, the this man just needs back row oh, a necro fusion. Why would you a necro fusion? Why? Yeah, it is kind of a curious choice, isn't it? Because, like, it's not like you were going to use that on your next turn, right? And like, you know Gaia doesn't run MST anymore. They have to run eccentric. Which means you... Uh, anyway... Yeah, so we respect the play with the MSD, but like you do have to think that Necrofusion was not going to come up with one monster in the grave. Yeah, it, and it was wasn't going to come up next turn because you can't attack when you use it anyway, so you're only ever using it on your opponent's turn. Yes, yeah, and if he just said it when it was live, he probably was fine. So, like, if he has another monster right here, he screwed himself over. Well, not really, all depends. If he, he needs like first movement or something. Like, if he can get the Shiberta, he pretty much wins this game. Honestly, that's one of the things I really do love about Yu-Gi-Oh, though, is that you really do have to remain present in the game. You have to be aware of what you're playing against and when those situations... Yeah. Even something he as totally... simple as tr setting a yep. trap card could be correct in one moment and not in the other, depending on the matchup. Yep. Versus Gaia, there's no point in setting it because they don't have MST. They only have Eccentric, and if it's dead, no point setting it. When it's live... You can set it because then you can chain it to the eccentric. I mean, he does need some. He needs some. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the big girl. <laughs> if he top deck that, man. oh, he did. Oh, he did. scoop. That is eight zero for did, Gaia. Bro. One he man did. remaining. Oh, Miami. Oh my God. Not a ten zero. I snow. One Come guy on, versus Gaia. Old Miami. <laughs> I expect. If he goes 10 0. Come, come back with the 10 0 whammy. No, no. 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 Okay. Yo, I mean, this could be the first 10 8 that ends with a 10 0. That could happen if Amiyami goes 10 0. <laughs> if he does. Wait. Yo. Fine. <laughs> Brother, why does one guy have 0 and 8? <laughs> Why is Kenya L and eight? Yes, thank you. Because he said Necrofusion, I gave him an extra six losses. <laughs> that was fine. No, I, just, I mean, I, I typed matter. eight for Joseph's, and it was just a something of a Freudian slip. You know Hold what a Freudian bro. slip is when you uh, when you say one thing but fuck your mouth. I mean, say another. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that, bro. <laughs> Sigmund Freud was a freak, bro. My man was just trying to just he was just trying to get with his mama his whole life. There's a, a stand-up comedian who's uh, friends with my uh, my uncle and aunt, and uh, his yeah. name is Stuart Francis, and he's got a joke. He's like, I'd like to have sex with Sigmund Freud's father. Mother! <laughs> when I learned about him in, like, college, I was like, this man's sick. Yeah, that's some weird <laughs> stuff. We, I actually uh, I took a psychology course in high school, even, and we learned yeah. about Freud. <laughs> even in high school, like the, like, the PG-13 stuff they were teaching you was still, like... <laughs> Yikes, bro. <laughs> like, it's just, calm down. Sigmund Freud basically says every man is just trying to F his mother his whole life, which is so messed True. up. Oh, yeah, messed up. <laughs> it's my turn. Which is kind of sad because I'm dating a girl who's like almost identical to my mother, which is kind of. Yeah, but in fairness, your mom's a fox. Crimson Fox? Yeah, bro. I know. <laughs> Hey, it all comes full circle. <laughs> if I swear to God, if this is Lunar Light right now. Nah, I think this is a mirror match. It's probably Guy mirror match. My turn is oh my God, it is Lunar Light. He just passed turn one. I draw. You, you imagine, can at least... Imagine if, okay, imagine how you would feel if you waited for your last player, the Anchor, to put in Lunar Light, and you've left him in a position where he's down eight points, and you're like... 
hey man, can you just try to win that all with Lunalite? Like... And then you lose to a single Melodious player. It's just like, hi. I activate a uh, spell. I, if this is actually Lunalite, he should have set a monster. Because I mean, yeah, Gaia cannot kill you unless they have a five card combo. Well, he might have a uh, Triforce top stuff. He could. That's correct. Never mind. Because we, we all know that Triforce top is the best card in the deck. Oh, he's just going to end turn. He's not even going to swing. He says, no D draw for you, nerd. He well, didn't even well, fuse. Well, I, I think this is actually Lona Lights. And if yeah, it is. You don't want anything what? coming from the extra deck. It's early. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. What? Buddy, he sends three, no fox. But he goes you straight had... into the Sabre Danse. You had Luna this entire match. And they left it Are for you... the last guy. Are you serious? You had the counter the whole rookies? Who, who Who's making these decisions? Maybe they're like, what happens if they run over a monster and they're 5,600? Then we can't win. Can you send Crimson Fox? Make him zero. Oh my god. Can I'm having that. Is that legal? Oh my god. Swings into the curse of Dragon Fire. Why is he killing the dragon fire? Just uh, kill the guy. Because Gaia. he can't put another one on the board next to this guy, the magical dragon knight. Unless he just summons uh, he another guy, the magical one. dragon knight. Wait. No, you can summon a second one. What are you talking yeah, about? You can, and because he controls a monster, he even has a second one. No, you can almost summon if your opponent has a yeah, monster that's, that's bigger than 2300. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was, I was going to get to that, but I had to you know, point out that he actually had one in the hand. But yeah, you're, you're definitely 100% correct. Yes, yeah. everyone in the chat, they had Luna Light this whole game. The whole game, I thought they didn't have Luna Light. They had it. They just didn't want to send it, because, you know, they need it for harpies. Yeah, they probably had it, like, in their head. Like, it was they so ingrained it that it's a harpy down. counter. They're like, no, it's my harpy counter. I can't send that against the other targeting deck. It's for harpies. The moment you go down 4-0, you're like, screw the game plan. We just need to beat this deck. Send in the Luna Light, bro. Just send... Oh, my God. And oh, it didn't uh, matter. He has, bruh, he has the chalice. Does he really have the chalice? I mean, he might have a chalice, but this doesn't necessarily mean it's game, right? He still has two cards in hand, and as soon as he hits that Sky Galloping Guy, the Dragon Champion, with a chalice, it is no yeah. longer Guy, the Dragon Champion. Okay. So the Galloping Guy might not be enough to protect him here. Let's see how this plays out, ladies and gentlemen. There's a chalice. He needs Triff right now. He needs Triff, Swift, Revo, something like that. I mean, you take the first one, even if you got it. You take the first one. Yeah, you, you just, get that D draw. You literally, you D draw the the goddamn yellow white rabbit. The yellow white just rabbit. Just D draw white rabbit. Listen, we all know I I suck at names. D draw white rabbit. Boom 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 game. Oh my god, they had it the whole time. I'm gonna have an angerism, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what he D draws for. I mean, we know that it's gonna it's be the white card rabbit. on the you right. Just... Let's see what it is. I mean, you say that, but does he know? I mean, these guys didn't send it in. They might not know how it works. Oh. <laughs> okay, Lunar Lights is not like the smartest, the hardest deck to play. There's like one combo that you might need to know, and that's if you have Cat Dancer and. Yellow rab, not yellow. God, I'm I'm flustered right now right. because you're, of this you're colorblind. Thing. It's been a long day. I get it. I am like so upset. They had it this whole time, this whole time. What is he thinking about? You have fusion in your hand. <laughs> Swag. They're down eight zero. At this point, I don't even think they're listening to me. Because if they were listening to me, I told them to send in Luna Light, like when it was four zero. I just assume they didn't have it. He's thinking long and hard. You literally just add long white and rabbit. Hard. What is the decision here? <laughs> literally, what's the decision? That's what I'm saying. It's not as intuitive. Like, you've been playing <laughs> Luna Light for four years, you know? There's, like, no other decision. You have fusion. You go white rabbit, revive something, bounce it back. GG. 
Uh. He normal summons a white rabbit, the right card in his hand. The white rabbit was the right rabbit. And straight into a fiendish chain. I you bounce it back with the yellow, and then you just make big guy. Literally. It took him that long. And he does have a few. We know this card is the fusion, right? Yes, it's fusion. He just, he legitimately just sends Crimson from deck, and he wins. Oh my god. This man. This man wilding, I swear. Now, if he books his own guy... I mean, that's fine. He kills the entire field. Because he has Saber Dance in Grave, too. So, like, yeah, you literally just change the guy to the fit to zero attack. And that's game. All right. You so can it even, seems as though this is up. a reasonable counter, then. Yes. Because that worked out. And this is not going to be a 10-0. It only took them eight decks. To realize that Luna was the counter deck. It's like, hey, maybe this might work. <laughs> when we have no other options. <laughs> now they just lo immediately lose to to uh, Melodious, but hey, it'd be like that. <laughs> Imagine if the second deck was Melodious. He's like, you know what? Two fusion decks. I think his second deck is Melodious. No joke, I think it's Melodious. It's kind of funny because... to think that uh, the way this is p panned out is that like fusion decks are meta as if it's the GX era during the Pendulum era. What's funny is fusions have been relevant since like 2018, 19. Like they haven't not been relevant in this game. Yeah, I mean, there's been Invoked, there's been Lunalites, there's been Neos. Lodius, Neos. Neos is a weird one because it wasn't even really a fusion deck. Like you almost never actually fused. Yo, is your dry going off? Yes. Okay, I swear I thought I was hearing noises. I got scared. You you actually were hearing noises, so don't worry. Come on out. Revert, I, I don't think this is reverse sweep. They just send in Melodious and this game's over. Cub. But maybe they don't think Melodious count as Luna Light Day. Just like this guy. <laughs> wait eight games. <laughs> Took them eight. War. You, you remember when it was 2-0 and they sent in Harpies and I said, oh, they don't have Luna Lights. Okay. Then it went to 4-0. Oh, they still don't have Lunalites. They're sending Harpies. Then 6 0. -oh. They sent. No, no, no. 4 0. -oh, they, well, they had to use their, their repeat TGs. on the, uh, the TG uh, yes. Bs, So They sent all of that before they sent the Lunalite. Uh, this could have been a 2 1 war right now. Which is crazy. Harpies opening fairly well here, though. I mean, it does not matter if this guy has saved an answer. Oh, that's the end phase, though. One back row. Yeah, this is doable. If he has Emerald, this is over. Emerald, discard. Well, that's, that's Emerald right there, for sure. Yeah, you that's always like add 100% Emerald. Emerald's chance the, of having Emerald. Yeah, you always add Emerald. Yep. So we see there this we in, a, in a war earlier, right? Where Lunalite was in. Yep, yeah, that, that's full combo. My boy just needs a single Luna in hand, and that... It's just GG. He's got five of them, so five cards in there. Yeah, I think it's highly reasonable. He has something. What? Uh, what's on his sleeves here? What card is that? Oh, that's an a, a Nobby, a Mobby, or something like that. It's a promo card that they give out. Okay. I think it's supposed to be a, a Mobby, like Yu-Gi-Oh. It's. I think in Japan, a mobby means mermaid, so that's okay. what it actually is. So he's probably going to bounce his own slash here, right? Yeah, he has to. I mean, he loses to save dance anyway, but he kind of has to. Like, he has to play the odds. Yeah, no, he has to do it. We all know he has save an answer, but he has to bounce the harpy or he just dies. No, he's that's bouncing the thing. oracle. Oh, but he's going to treach the other two. Okay. Wait. What? So the okay. Yellow Martin will get banished. The, uh, yeah, the okay. Cyber Slash will get bounced, but knocked off the board. So this actually reduces the chance of him having even a he cat has dancer. It. Okay, he has cat dancer. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Still, I think the correct play. I mean, you are going to use the treach in... Oh, yeah, that know, was 100% the... the correct play. 
I mean, it's easy for, for me to say sitting here comfortably in a chair not playing to go, yeah, you know, I think uh, I, mean, I, think I know the has, correct play was. I mean, if he, has, if he has Fox in hand, he just wins. Okay, he didn't. Because you just summon it off Butterfly and then win. A lot of people forget Butterfly has that banish effect. Kind of nice. I mean, for a long time, but, people weren't even playing that card. But you were all the limits, like, you just kind of need yeah. it for the numbers, right? You need it for the numbers, and with 10 key, it's lethal with Save a Dancer. That's why. Because, like, you go Fox, and they change it to zero. 10 key, discard it, that's 4,700 lethal. That's mainly why. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. So his hand's probably a bunch of hand traps and fusion. I mean, you have to suspect here that he's going to yeah. go for the spark dragon, right? Nah, you don't need to go spark. There's no reason to. You just bounce. And put oh, yeah, true. Yeah, I, I forgot this is a cat dancer that I'm looking at, not the uh, not the actually good one. Yeah, if he had Saber Dance, he won this. So I can read his hand. It's probably Sphere. It's we know for sure it's not a Lona that has above fifteen hundred attack. So i.e. it's not Fox. He didn't want to send Rabbit, so maybe he has Rabbit. So I'm thinking his hand's probably like Fusion Rabbit Trick Rebo. Now it is one Fusion down. He should have a second one in hand, right? Because he did search it. Yeah, I assume it was blown up by a Tretch. Yeah, the fact that he didn't make a sec, he didn't oh, wait, like. No, no, it wasn't. He only used that effect once per turn, so he actually might not have a fusion right now. I mean, he could might not have it, but I assume he has it. Like they always have it, right? Let's be real. Next us King Corbage Luna. That is absolutely correct if he's playing it. Corbage would hurt a lot right now. If you're a stealthy Luna player. No, he's just going to swing in just like this. Not going to give him D-Draw by using the, uh, the Cyber Harpy Lady. Yeah. Delay. It's Sphere Creeble, bro. We all know it's Sphere Creeble. Come on now. Come now on would now. you say it's correct to uh, save the, the Yellow Martin in this situation? Or do you actually want to have it around? Like, do you want to have I it mean, in the grave? You he'd rather it? have it in the grave. If he did that, that means his hands crashed. That's the only reason to do that. His man's hands trash. Or maybe he needs to... Oh, you let it die, because if you had White Rabbit... Oh, there's White Rabbit. <laughs> Come on, hopping in, bunny. Is that, is that your White Rabbit voice line? Yep. Hop on Every, in, White oh, Rabbit. Literally, that's my that's my voice line for when I get White Rabbit. I'm like, haha, bunny go burr. And like, I think White Rabbit's like the youngest one of them all, which is funny. Silly Rabbit Nix is for kids. <laughs> bro, no, don't ever say that, bro. <laughs> That's funny because it's a rabbit. <laughs> Why haven't I thought of that? That's funny as hell. The tricks mascot. And, okay. And you get you get next. you get extra money tomorrow, Hans. Excellent. Ah, shoot. Maybe then I can afford DDDTG. What is he thinking about? Dude, I don't know. He did this last game, too. <laughs> Bro! If you have something in Grave, you always go White Rabbit. Like... <laughs> like, I'm not... People be like... Ona is not that hard to play, Bro. If you have something in Grave, you go White Rabbit. That's not even a question. Anything in Grave. You don't care. He actually has lethal with uh, if he just makes up night the, the, pap the photon papalop the, the one that switches to attacking. Photon papaloperative. Yeah, photon. Actually, I, think, lethal. I think it's pronounced papi operative because it's a play on papillon, which is um, it's the butterfly, for butterfly thing, man. That's just a butterfly. If he actually doesn't even need to like synchro right now, he just not synchro fusion right now. He just makes that and wins. He just changed uh, the oracle to attack. That's lethal. I think. Because it decreases by 800? Or is it 500? I don't know. Either way, it's lethal. 600, I think. Yeah, either way, it's lethal. 
It's, it's definitely it goes, enough. Yeah, because he it's twenty one hundred dropped down by six hundred. That's exactly equal. Right. Oh, guess he's not running it. Lt Gray. Guess he doesn't have it. Okay. Next says five hundred. I thought it was six hundred. Is it really five hundred? I, oh. I still think it's six hundred. I think. Then that's I weird. I'm, Why I think go I'm going to war with negative one right now. I think he I just think... put negative one hundred on that. No, I think he's right though. Whose side are you on? Is it really? I think it is five hundred. No, it's six hundred. Yeah, 600. that's right. It's six hundred. It was lethal, but anyway, he won regardless. So it was just twenty ways to kill him, to be honest. Wulad, why am I coaching him? I'm not coaching him, Wulad. They're clearly not listening to me. If they were listening to me, this thing would have been 2-1, Wulad. Thank you very much. So 8-2 from Joseph, though. That is a very, very strong start for uh, Kazuki Reborn. Yeah, it was exactly lethal. Yeah, I, I can do math next. See, I know. Yeah, I know. you can do math even when you're, you're dealing with variables because you didn't even know how much it reduced. Yeah, bro. All I knew was if it was greater than 500, it was lethal. Well, here comes the Melodious. Bro, they sent Mike in at, like, turbo speed. Of course, because it was Melodious. 1,000%. <laughs> and uh, he definitely has uh, the Zuzu. Now, oh, let's just bro, see. Let's look just at that see. mat, though. That is nice. That is nice. And it's the fusion mat, by the way. It's the fusion. Oh, that yeah. looks good, bro. The, I like Leo, that a lot. They have a Leo map for each mechanic, I think. And that's the fusion Oh, one. I have to get these. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I think the new ones come out each, like, couple days. So this is the fusion one. I think the Xyz one will come out in a couple more days. And that'll probably be black. And the other one will be white. So, yeah. Not being racist. I'm just oh, that's oh, just yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. It, just, it just sounds <laughs> like it. Yeah. Mike understands how to do, Which one? Which one do you... Okay, we'll solve this right now. Which one do you like better? Do you like the black one or the white one? The black. Okay. It's just... Not, not a cop, just, at least. Nah, I just like black mats because they get they don't get dirty as much as white ones. I have mad dandruff, though. Ah, then maybe you might need the white one. What I need is head and shoulders. But it's redundant because I'm already head and shoulders above my opponent. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's freaking go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Luna Light pretty much cannot win this if they have score, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> it's it's definitely a tough one. I I've seen like a few weeks ago, the Melodious players were playing horribly, and they'd just be fusion summoning into Bloom, and I'm like, you just sit on score, and don't fusion. And you beat M Luna like every single time. Okay, oh, my dog's freaking out. You're right, girl. Oh, I'll be right back. So he's just gonna go in with the sh uh, the soprano, Sonata. Jeez, so many names. Spear the seventeen hundred. Can't really play around D drop. But he's gonna go in with Chopina. Yeah. yeah. No, he swings in at all. He loses. He did. He swung. He, he swung with the. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, oh, I, I got player. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So he, he's at <laughs> such a life point count. I was like, but he did swing. Well, he's still alive. Yeah, yeah I mean, with it, uh, with score. Yeah, like he needs to like have hard have the crimson and emerald to like go for game. So these guys are fairies. So like in the TCG, you can play both honest and score. That's just. I mean, you wouldn't. I mean, you would want to. I don't know how Melodies would be played. Uh, they, I mean, they probably <laughs> wouldn't be, to be fair. Yeah. It's like, I mean, Melodies do they, do they have a tuner. Easy. Can you make Halgi? Like. I, I just hate how in the TCG it's just like, oh, I have a tuner. I can just make Halk and then I just do all this dumb Aurora Dawn combo. It's like, oh, okay. No. They, they should not add Dragoon. Stop that blasphemy in chat right now. Wait, which one? The Dark Magician one or the Atlantean one? Both. Because I kind of like the Atlantean one. No, no, neither. He's talking about the Red Eyes Dragoon. Screw that one. But, no. We could probably get Dragoons the other one, though. 
Right. What does he even do? I can't even remember. He searches Atlanteans. Wait, so you just run him in water? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. When this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a water monster's effect, add one CC. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, it's it's a diva follow up, but it's not really terrible because like you gotta remember too, like there's like Teus and like it, it's a it's a big extender. That's the thing. Okay. Like with all the the uh, mermail stuff. I guess the mermail makes sense. Okay. Not in water because like you wouldn't ever be discarding for water's effect. I mean, I think. Even in this game, if, if we had uh, Moulin Glacia with uh, Water Xyz, a Bahamut Shark play, you could actually basically delinquent duo your opponent on turn one. Do we not have Moulin Glacia? I don't think so. Because <laughs> I feel like I'd play that already. <laughs> I think that's the only one of the elementals we don't have, is Moulin Glacia. Yeah, because it's disgusting. We have every <laughs> it's other the one. Best one. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one we don't have. Or maybe we do when I'm tripping. Can, can anyone like so. address confirm? <laughs> I, I feel like I would have remembered that. Yeah, well, that's the only one we don't have. Because we have fire and we have earth. What's the opposite of earth? Wind. wind. We definitely we have, have wind. wind. That's, uh, Is there wind? Yeah, we have wind. It's the, the it's green and purple. Oh, that one. Okay, the sucky one. Okay. Right. Yeah, and then the fire, earth and not the earth. The light and dark ones. Yeah, we have those, I think. Crazy. We have we played animals elemental elemental savers and did not play a single elemental lord. Be like that, bro. They it's really do be like that. None of the ones we have, like I said, are really that impactful. Like one of them is like basically ring of destruction, one of them is monster. One of them is monster. Yeah. But like that's not really good enough. So. Grand Soros. That's not really necessary. I mean, that's just game. <laughs> This man does not have a single. <laughs> That's the most win more tretch I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, he was already bullying this Luna player. <laughs> he's, he's already making him look stupid. <laughs> bro, he gave him the revive. He said, I don't care, bro. Just go for it. It's real something, yeah. I know that I know I know they suck. Right? Neg, I'm just saying. I remember Skillshot was trying to make them work before the Purgatrio came. That was so sad. Was so it sad. Umbra Mirage is just Sangan? <laughs> like, it's really, really bad. But it's also like Sangan that can like only search a dark monster or something. Oh, God. The dark one's so bad, because I think he's he's in the event right now for Declan. Oh, really? Yes. Also, I didn't know. I've never seen, um, is it it's Arc, Arc 5? I've never seen that anime, so I wasn't sure if it was Declan or Declan. It's Declan, bro. Do you not have to not have to pronounce names? I, I'm not that one. Yeah, it's Declan. That's an actual name. Is it, that's an actual name? Like, there's somebody named Declan? Yeah, that's that's an actual person's name. Like that. I've never seen anyone. I've probably watched some shows with Declan or something. I don't know. Meanwhile, uh, the Cade calls him Declan. He just intentionally mispronounces people's names for no reason. Yeah, Declan's a real name, Neg. Like, it literally is a real name. Ah, yes. He scoops. There you go. All right. Mike taking the win, moving the score to 9-2 in favor of Kazuki Reborn. Close game so far. I guess maybe not in America, Declan's a common name, but, like, I know in, like, British parts it's a common name. Well, not that common, Mike but... It's an okay name. Yeah, I thought it was Declan. Honestly, that's how I thought it was pronounced. Oh, it's Declan. <laughs> Declan. <laughs> Declan? That's what the gay calls him, and I'm like, he he just intentionally mispronounces stuff, though. He knows it. He just calls it that. Like, my turn. Okay. I'm playing with the clan today. Light barrier. Noble Knights? No. It's Triamids. Why you gotta be like this? Because it's Triamids. Could be 20 card Noble Knight. Why would you play 20 card Noble Knights, friends? Consistency, bro. So you can consistently open the trap and Gwen. 
But then you like see see that's the thing. You're playing twenty cards in Noble Knights, it sucks because like your mills is just like eh. Oh it's half really, my it's really, really tragic. Yeah, it's just like eh. <laughs> you have like no recovery late game. It's just like eh. Okay, I just spilled all my stuff on the field. But I'm pretty sure it's Travis. It makes sense. I mean, at least they, they can play around score. Yeah. I think Schuberta pretty much poops on him. But, you know. Yeah, she does. Oh, he set one. Maybe it is Noble Knights. He just set one. It could be Karma Cut. I don't know. I don't know what Noble Knight plays now. OTK here. If that's a... Uh... If it's in the stretch and there's no MST, you know? He needs to book up oh, this game, though. <laughs> the moment I saw him just get two monsters out, I was like, that's game. Yeah, that's just game. From okay. Song Stress to Maestra activates and show Pina the Melodious Fiendish? Maestra adding Sonata. I think it's a Fiendish. This game's over. It's not a Fiendish. What? What is his back row? How do you, you just wouldn't let... set Pulse Pass, right? Unless you, like, uber bricked. We don't even know what his deck is. We just assume it's Trimus. Imagine this hearts drowning. Is drowning. Imagine this is a drowning. No, please be. No, it's not. No, I think it's a. Con oh. That's game. That's a 10 2 score, baby. One hour and a half, and this game is all over. Kazuki Reborn on top. The light of destruction was also that did not go how I expected this match to go, but it'd be like that sometimes. That, is that one of the, the biggest blowouts of the season so far? I wouldn't think so. I thought this would be like 10 7 at least. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a very close game. And it just really didn't work out for rookies. I think they sent that Luna a little too late. And uh, yeah. it really just put them in a, in a really poor spot. Sometimes. See, that's the thing. I don't know if they're. When does the match start? There's a next one that starts at 11 p.m., right? So, like, 25 minutes from now. Yeah, and I believe uh, Gaiba is currently uh, streaming another match, so we will just dip right out of here and uh, let these guys enjoy their win. Congratulations to Kazuki Reborn, and uh, good luck next week and the coming weeks, rookies. You know, you can bounce back. You guys are solid. And uh, so DLTW says that uh, when we dip, we'll host, and he says thank you. So thank you, Nix, for joining me today, and I want to give a big shout-out to the uh, referee and moderation team for running everything in the background made things flawless all right see you boys all right well thank you so much and uh we'll see you guys later on